Perry's taking us back to the good old days where I used to follow him on Facebook and he used to follow me on Facebook and he would post 10 times a week and I would see all 10 of those posts, right? 100% of his organic posts, the good old days. Boy, was that amazing. And I remember it all too well on Facebook. And then I remembered everyone complaining when it was taken away. And then I remember on Instagram when it started and I followed Perry and I saw 100% of his posts and then it was taken away. So that's the, that's the nature of the beast. That's the nature of rented attention, right? You don't own that attention, it's rented. I used to see all your posts because Facebook needed me more than I needed them. And you know now the tables have turned, right? So unbeknownst to most people, because they don't publish it, there's no pricing table, Facebook and Instagram have a free plan and they have a paid plan, okay? The paid plan, there's no pricing table. There's not somewhere where you can go and sign up and opt in to get it, but there is a paid plan to Facebook and Instagram. The paid plan to Facebook and Instagram is taking your posts via ads and showing them to your warm audiences, okay? Now, let me define warm audiences. Everyone that you have on an email list is a warm audience. Anyone that's engaged with your posts in the last 365 days on Facebook or Instagram, liked, comment, shared, all of the above. Anyone that has visited your website, anyone that has purchased from you, okay? All of those collectively go into what we call the kitchen sink. It is a warm audience. By warm, in contrast to cold, these people know who you are. They have some sort of interaction. You set a daily budget to your Facebook ads. $10 does it a day for most people, sometimes $5 a day. Um, for some people, it's $20 a day. And that money that you give Facebook and Instagram has two important points to it. The first is that all you're doing is paying to use Facebook and Instagram and to take it back to the good old days where 100% of your audience actually sees what you post, okay? That's number one. Number two, for anyone that truly understands social media, it's no different than the cable bill at your home. You have to pay the cable bill because the cable bill is a part of doing business because if you don't have it, you're gonna lose your internet. For the smart marketer, for the smart artist who sold as much as you do, you start in on Facebook and Instagram ads, warm ads, and you never stop. You don't ever stop all year long. In fact, it's no different than the cable bill at your house. That is the paid plan for Facebook and Instagram. And once you understand that, you just accept it as a line item and expense in your business and you don't ever stop. It yeah. is pay to play, brother. That's how it works. That abstraction on Facebook and Instagram is such a hard one for, for people to wrap their heads around. And, and, and before any of the rest of you ask, no, I am not talking about boosting posts, okay? The 11th commandment is thou shall not boost posts. Boost posts is like lighting money on fire, okay? You might as well have a fire in your backyard with it. You might as well give it to my kids so we can buy a, a toy that will be obsessed with for approximately 27 minutes and then throw in the ground. It is lighting money on fire. But when you show your latest posts, okay, to your warm audience, like I said, people that are on your email list, people that have purchased from you, people that have visited your website, people that have engaged with your post on Facebook or Instagram over the last 365 days, then all you're attempting to do is get more of your posts seen by the people that already know, like, and trust you. And that's a big, big, big deal. It is a big, big, big deal. Uh, once you hit, call it, I think I, it's impossible to, to set a number for everybody, but we essentially said that once you sold $2,000 directly from your website with us, we start advocating that you run the warm ads on Facebook and Instagram, straight up. And then it's a cable bill. It doesn't ever stop. It doesn't ever, ever stop until Facebook and Instagram lose the attention and it goes somewhere else. Um, and, 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 and that hasn't happened yet until it does. That's what you do. That's what you do. And it's a really, really, really hard thing for most people to wrap their heads around because every single, well, not, not every single, it depends on how much you're posting, but let's just say you're posting once a week every post okay every post you create gets turned into an ad that your fans see and guess what not every one of them is a salesy post not every one of them is buy my art today 48 hours less 15 percent off that 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 sometimes it can just be a picture of you and the card perry sitting in the kindergarten line sometimes it can be um a funny meme or whatever the 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 smart artist knows the smart marketer knows that if you market consistently 
and you're constantly getting the attention of the warm audiences you do have, the score takes care of itself. It will pay. But this is a very difficult thing for most people to wrap their heads around. Number one, most people don't understand the long game, right? They think I'm gonna go I'm gonna go put a couple of dollars in the Facebook and Instagram slot machine. And if I put the one dollar in, it's supposed to instantaneously give me five dollars out. That's why everyone fails at Facebook ads. Artists and artists and photographers especially fail miserably. One, they don't have the perspective of how long it takes. Two, um, they don't understand that you start going after warm audiences. And then three, they don't understand that every single solitary post isn't a buy my art now. Maybe you maybe you have a, a live art show. That turns into an ad. Maybe you have a cool video of your process. That turns into an ad. Maybe it's you just merchandising the work without even a link anywhere, without 15% off anything. That turns into an ad. The idea is you need to be top of mind for the people that know, like, and trust you all year long. I need you to send me an email. I'm going to ignore the email. Then I'm going to be on the couch, and, and my kid is going to be playing with that stupid action figure he's going to give up on in two seconds. Then I'm going to look on my phone on Instagram, and I'm going to see your ad again. I'm going to ignore that. Then later when I'm in bed and I'm looking at Facebook, I see your ad for the third time. I go back, I click the email, and maybe then I buy something. That's just how it works in the real world. It's a really hard thing to wrap your head around, though. Most people don't get it. Most people don't have the, the understanding that it's not, it's not you putting money in some weird casino. It's not even you running ads. It is an expense in doing business. It is no different than the rent on your studio or the internet bill at your house, right? Or the trash bill or the water bill or your car payment. It is a cost of doing business in today's day and age. And that is how you stay top of mind. And that's how you, you know you're going to be top of mind when that person is ready to purchase art. What's up, YouTube? Thanks for checking out the Q&A. What if you have your own question? First, uh, you can leave me a comment below on this YouTube video. I see them. I will respond. Uh, number two, uh, definitely encourage you to subscribe. It's very easy to do. There's some fancy motion graphics going across the screen now. Uh, but there's a subscribe button. There's a bell button. You'll know when we're live. You can come on and say, Patrick, I have a question, uh, even from your YouTube app, which is super handy. And then the third is... Three times weekly, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, free Zoom calls. We call them the Art Business Workshops. There's going to be a link uh, directly below me in this description. You can sign up. Uh, they're free. You can come answer your question, which I'm sure will be awesome. And I will do my measure best to uh, make sure my advice is slightly better than marginal. Uh, no, but I'm, in all seriousness, I'll, I'll, I'll take a crack at answering it. Thanks, uh, thanks for checking out this video.